Hey guys, and welcome to this training. And this one, we're gonna go over the the question that um, I ran to. It's it's how to make things uh, in your funnel or through Click Funnels. How to make things desktop only and mobile only, and why is that important? All right. So I'm just gonna do a quick sh a tutorial and show you. And uh, I'm gonna show you on my Funnel Excellence site how to do it. It's really easy, and uh, it's something that is very important to pay attention to nowadays when you're building your funnels. Um, because I was listening to a marketing forecast and Russell Brunson, the founder of ClickFunnels, was talking about how uh, as of right now, over this was the first time in ClickFunnels history, it hasn't been around for too long, but it is significant that more traffic came from mobile phones, right? So from mobile devices versus desktop. I think 60% of all traffic that visited ClickFunnels pages, like this is uh, pages of the 55 thousand plus members active members on click funnels um, at, at this point in time uh, over 60 percent was mobile right so mobile is really really important uh, it's very important that you understand how people operate on mobile uh, with regard to a funnel taking up an offers and everything like that and it may be depending on your traffic right depending this, this is the the um the important point is depending on your traffic source. So know where your traffic source. If you do anything on social media, mobile focus first. So what it means is you should build your funnels to uh, to work for mobile first, and then you can optimize them for desktop, or you know, or have a completely separate funnel for desktop. Uh, but that could be tough uh, to build a whole entirely new funnel. But that's why the hide and show elements feature is one of the one of the coolest things, and it's super simple that you can do. And uh, I'm going to show you how you do that today. All right, so uh, this is just a page from my Funnel Excellence site. All right, this is my uh, Would you like to uh, Would you like a custom funnel blueprint built specifically for you? All right, this is kind of the funnel I use to. Uh, this is kind of a, an application funnel built within my site. All right, just to show you how this works. This is I'm on desktop. All right, so if someone says yes, let's do this. All right, and they get the order form, and then once they submit their information, they get taken to a questionnaire and all that good stuff. All right. Uh, so that's kind of what this funnel does and what, uh, what its purpose is. But the key thing here is I wanted to be able to work on mobile, right? And so what I've done is I understand that the screen that the desktop has is different than what the screen the mobile has. And I want this, would you like custom uh, blueprint built specifically for you? I want this to kind of show up in the middle of the page. So if I go back here, let me just refresh the page. So, so see how like this is kind of in the middle of the page? Um, it doesn't fill up the entire page this issue right down here, but that's not a problem. I have a massive screen <laughs> But it's centered on the page But when I look on a mobile device, it's gonna look different and I can kind of show you an example This isn't the, the best example uh, But if you have Google Chrome you just hit inspect You can uh, you just right-click and hit inspect and then there's this little thing up here where you can toggle the device And so I toggle it to mobile. So this is what this website looks like on mobile, right? And obviously, like this is a massive screen. Like I can change the the size to see. Like that's kind of about the screen size that um, people with an iPhone would see, right? They might not see too much more. Uh, so, one of the, I want to point out a couple things before I show you how to do this is you notice the text is not super massive, right? So the text has shrunk to uh, to better fit for mobile. Another thing I want you to see is uh, pay attention to is the headers change. So I'll switch back and, and I'll show you. So see how I have the navigation up here, right? And there's no navigation down here. Well, uh, when I do this, navigation up here goes away and the navigation appears down here, right? And uh, I wish ClickFunnels had a better navigation option widget. Uh, maybe they do out there. If they do, let me know. But um, I'll look into it to where it can toggle between mobile and desktop where you just have kind of like the three bars up here. Um, the header. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you'll, you'll understand. If you don't, you'll be completely lost. But uh, just understand that that's that uh, certain websites and website builders uh, they have um, features where you can where it'll adjust the the menu. But that's not a big issue, right? But I just wanted to just point out to show you that how different things appear depending on the different device uh, device that uh, we have. So how to do this, right? It's really simple, and I I can actually like click on this stuff. Right, so I can actually uh, show my page, right? Uh, which is cool. You so you can always use your use Chrome and just inspect and see what your page looks like on mobile. You can also do it in the builder, right? So this is the ClickFunnels builder. This is the new builder, not the classic builder. Um, if you have questions about that, I have a training on classic versus new builder. 
right? But real simple, the way to see it, if it's mobile or desktop is just right here, right for this back button. So don't hit that, but like desktop or mobile. And this will toggle your view uh, to show you. So if I click this, this is how everything looks like on mobile, right? And the key things that you want to pay attention to, so you see those those big sections that I had before, they're gone, right? So um, see these ones, they're highlighted in red, right? Because these are desktop only, right? And they disappear when I switch to mobile view, right? So that's something that you might want to consider. Your spacing and padding, your spacing and stuff like that. Uh, you can use sections to help space uh, text apart on your page, but you can always hide it on mobile because you don't necessarily need that much space, right? Um, you don't want to take up valuable real estate because the mobile screen is smaller. You don't want to take it up with space. You want to take it up with content, All right? And the really easy way to do that is just click on any section that you want. So you hit settings and you come down here to the bottom and you have all these different features, right? So the ones that you want to click is like mobile only or desktop only. So depending, or you can hide it, uh, but I will go into the other training on hiding things, uh, which is pretty cool. But all you do is just click desktop only. So it's already clicked. Right, so I can I can toggle, I can go mobile only. Um, see now it's on mobile, see there it's there, but I'm gonna switch back, I'm gonna desktop only, right? So desktop only. And then it has this red ring around it to say it's desktop only. Right? Same thing you can do that for menus, you can do that for entire sections of the page. Like I can go to this entire section and say, I only want this available on desktop or mobile. So what this means is you can create a, a different opt-in form layout depending on desktop or mobile, right? So that can be really big for getting your lead magnets out there is, uh, or your offers is having different, um, different, completely different sections for your offer to uh, when you have, uh, sorry, uh, versus desktop and mobile. And, uh, and that's a cool thing. I might do a feature on that if enough people are interested. But that's really the simple way. And so one of the things, so you should always go through and make sure that your whatever your funnel is that looks good on mobile. It's, it's just like I just know someone hasn't taken the time to, to really pay attention to their funnel um, or they don't know what they're doing. If I go to their funnel on mobile and like the text is super huge. So let me show you an example of what it'd be like. So in on desktop, let's see. Desktop, this text is, let's see what size it is. It's 60, right? Now, if I go to mobile, there's a feature called mobile size, right? So you can see here. Um, and so this makes the text scale down when you're on smaller devices, right? So if you don't mess with this, it'll stay the same size as the other one. And so you see how this looks, like see how this, and so if you went to someone's funnel, not only would all this headline and stuff take up this entire screen, uh, but if anyone who, if you're pitching to marketers or anything like that, they're gonna be like, this doesn't look right, right? Just this, this doesn't look like it's organized, right? And people will notice that, and that could reduce your conversions. Now, <laughs> in marketing, the uh, the one thing is that you never know if something's gonna be, um, if something's gonna work or, or be good or bad until you test it. So, for all for all I know, for all you know, that <laughs> maybe that makes you get higher conversions. But um, who knows? Maybe that's something to to really test to see if you have those big texts on mobile actually works, but from my opinion, from my experience, it's it's nice to have um, good quality, you know, formatted text and that fits your screen, right? That that uh, is is important. I'm gonna make actually this and see if it might get a little bigger. 22, excuse me, 24. Yeah, 24 looks good, All right? So that's what it looks like on mobile and always make sure you save and you can easily switch back and everything like that. So that is the quick lesson on the difference between, you know, high, you know desktop and mobile um, sections and icons and everything. You can do it for it, literally anything. Like I could do it for this button if I wanted to. I can make that button only available on desktop or only available on mobile. So any one of the elements or rows or columns in ClickFunnels, you can apply this to. So go out there, play around with this, have fun, and uh, make sure your, web, your funnels are optimized for mobile. So that's the end of this training. And as always, let me know if you have any questions.